Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. I got a really big update for Pixelcade LCD users. This is version 5.0 of the firmware. This is actually the biggest update we've ever done on Pixelcade LCD. So I hope everyone gets it and likes it. Um, I'm just gonna go down the list of updates here. So first up, we've got an artwork updater. So there's a lot of people in the community that have done great artwork. So you can just click a button and get the latest artwork. There's a firmware updater, so you don't need to pop out the micro SD card anymore. You can update the firmware remotely. Got some now playing splash screens that pop up when you launch games. We can now do high scores. We can do marquee overlays. So right now the first feature is it can actually overlay a little uh, message on an actual game marquee. So first step is high scores for that. Um, we have retro achievements integration that's only available on Bodicera and Emu Elec, but that's actually quite a cool feature. If you've got the Pixel K dot display, you've got a number of enhancements there. I'll, I'll show those to you. Various bug fixes. There's a number of bugs that we went through and fixed. Um, ability to customize your default marquee. That's been a big ass. So you can now do that. Um, there's a, a web application called Pixel K Companion. That's actually where you can update your default marquee. And there's some other new features that have been added there. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick demo of all these new features. And then I'll show you actually how to do the upgrade. All right, so let me first pick a game that has high scores. And so you'll now see this little splash screen here. You can see the high scores right there. If you have a Pixel K dot display, the high scores are going to display here as well. And then this is also a new feature. This is the overlay. Uh, you can change this font, by the way. I'll show you that at the end of this, how to change the font. So this overlay will show if there's a high score. You can turn that off. If you don't like that, you can turn that feature off as well, which I'll show you how to do. So let's get out of that. If the game doesn't have a high score, like this one, it'll just show this little splash screen here. We can change this font too. And then it'll go to a video marquee if the game has a video marquee. And then it will land on the normal marquee like that. If you've got the Pixel K dot sub display, we also added the year of the console. So you can see the name of the console as well as the year that that console came out. Here's some of the new marquees on the Windows wheel. All right, so let me show you how to get this update. So go ahead and head over to pixelcade.org. If you happen to be on a Bodicera or Linux device, you would just go to the respective page there. So in this case, it's Bodicera. And you would just scroll down to the LCD section. And there's a command to run to get the latest and greatest, this one right here. Don't run the beta, because at the time of this recording, it's actually in production, so just run this command. But for this video, I'm gonna focus on Windows. So go over to Download, click on Windows, go down to Download LCD. Okay, and I've already downloaded it to save some time here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and launch that. And this, this installer is gonna run on your local arcade PC. Normally you won't need to update the installer on every update, but because this was such a big update, we had to change some stuff on the local client side as well. So go ahead and get this new version. Okay, and this will default to where you had Pixelcade installed before. If you already had it installed, all right. Okay, it's then going to run a little finer utility and try to find your Pixel Cade LCD. So just let that run while you're doing that. So you can see here I found it. So we can just hit OK to exit. That's just a pairing utility. And here it's just going to ask some questions. Where is our LED blinky? That's correct. 
I'm only using this for Pixelcade. I'm not using RGB buttons. If I was, I'd hit no, but I'll hit yes. And in this case, I'm on hyperspin. Need to tell it where my main folder, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Tell it where my main directory is. This is for high scores. And that's all I need to do. Now, if you already have the Pixelcade LCD software, it's not going to ask you to launch the Pixelcade wizard. Those are those questions I answered at the end. But if you're on an Arcade One system, you do actually want to run that manually. So just go over here and run Pixelcade front end setup wizard. You can see here, it says, it says already made the changes I had for Arcade One. So I'm going to just go ahead and exit out. But you would want to do that if you're on an Arcade One system. The other tricky thing, if you're on Arcade One, and I'll just show this real quick, go over to your main folder. And this is for the high score feature. So go to emulators, MAME. See here how I have actually already, already changed this, but you may have a, both a high and a high score folder. High score is where your current high scores are, most likely. And then high would be where the old ones are. So you want go ahead and rename this to something like old and then high score would be the one you want to keep. If you only have a high folder, that's totally fine. Don't worry about this at all. That's just if you happen to have both. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and go over to program files. And what you want to do is go find this guy that says Pixelcade LCD updater. So this is new. This is going to allow you to update both the Pixelcade artwork as well as the Pixelcade firmware. So at the time of this recording, this is actually pushed to production, so don't need to do the beta, but going forward, if we have a beta release, you can always check that to get the latest and greatest. So I'm just going ahead and hit start. And you can see, kind of follow along what's going on here. It'll tell you what it's doing. It's basically going out to the internet. It's going out to the artwork repo and the repo where we have all of our system files and checking to see what you have on your local machine. And if you don't have the latest, it's going to update it for you. And so as you can see there on Pixelcade itself, it's telling you what's going on right now. It's downloading artwork. Now, one thing to note, I do see from time to time this download sometimes goes really fast and sometimes goes really slow. So if you're downloading and it just happens to be slow, you know, either let it run or you could just quit and try again later. That just seems to be a weird server thing. <clears throat> the back end repo for this is GitHub and sometimes our servers are quick and sometimes they're not quick. So just let this download. This download at the time of this recording is about 500 megabytes and that's primarily new artwork. So it'll take a little bit to download this 500 meg. All right, so it's downloading those, it's just downloaded those files, which is actually a big zip file. So now it's going to unzip those. Takes a while to do the unzip, so just let that go. Okay, it'll also tell you just for reference how much free space you have on your Pixelcade LCD card. So in this case, you've got eight gigabytes free of internal storage and 20 gigabytes free of, or 19 gigabytes free of user storage that you can add to add new marquees. So now it's doing the actual firmware update. So while it's doing this, definitely don't power off your machine, let that run. And it's gonna update Pixelcade Companion, which is the web-based UI. I'll show that to you here in a second. Then after it's done the firmware update, it's gonna do a reboot. So your Pixelcade LCD will automatically reboot. So we'll just let that go. All right, so we rebooted. So we can go ahead and get out of this. And now I wanna show you that web UI called Pixelcade Companion. So let's go back to our Pixelcade folder. Look for an icon that says Pixelcade Companion. And this will launch a web UI. And by the way, you can launch this from your phone as well. So this is uh, very user-friendly on your phone. It's a re reactive interface, so you would just need to type in this URL right here on your phone and can pull it up. But we're gonna go from the web here. And you'll notice the first thing I wanna show you is you can actually change the fonts. 
So right now I've got it set to this font. And what you can do is, is go here, go over to scrolling text, and then you can just see what the font would look like. So that's that particular font. Now let's say I don't like that font and I wanna change it to something else. I can just go back to device settings, pick another font. Let's just pick something here. Say I wanna do a Star Wars theme. Go back to scrolling text. And you can change the font. Now let me, um, also the other thing you can do, which is kind of nice from here is going forward, you can also initiate updates or check for updates from Pixelcade Companion directly. So you can just go over here and click on check for updates. And it will then tell you if you're already up to date. So it's just gonna run through this. It's gonna check your artwork version in this case, we just ran the update, so it's gonna tell us our artwork is already up to date. It'll tell us the version here, there, and it's also gonna check your firmware. And again, we already updated our firmware, so it'll tell us that our firmware is also the latest and greatest. Um, but that's just you know good to know. You can always come back and check from Pixelcade Companion as well. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool is, remember I showed you those marquee overlays? If you don't like those, just check this and that will turn that off. And when you do that, you don't need to reboot actually. Those will take effect automatically. If you wanna turn off video marquees, so let's say for example, you only wanna see um, just still image marquees, you don't like the videos for whatever reasons, you can turn those off as well. Again, you don't need to reboot. So that those are some things from Pixelcade Companion. You can also browse artwork, so this is kinda of cool. So go over here. And let me see, Daphne has some pretty cool artwork. And so as you click on these, it will just update. And so that's kind of a nice way to just browse all of the artwork that's on Pixelcade. You can see there's quite a bit. Um, and again, you can run this from your phone as well. Just type in this URL from your phone and you get this nice interface from your phone and you can browse away. So lots of artwork here on the PC side as well. Big thanks to Ben and Kevin and James T who did a lot of this artwork, just really nice. Uh, and lastly, you can also set the default marquee. So this has been a user ask for a while now. And so if you, um, let me just show you how to upload your own artwork. So if you go to pixelkey.org, go to the how to section and scroll down here a little bit, go to LCD artwork. I won't go through all of this in this video because I've got another video on that. But if you just go to this how to LCD artwork page, it'll tell you how to upload your own artwork to the uh, internal memory of Pixelcade. You can also add your own USB drive if you happen to run out of space, if you use up more than 25 meg. And then once you've done that, you can actually set your own marquee as a default. So let me just show you that again. So where it says set default marquee, here I've uploaded my own, I would just click that and that's now my default marquee. So that's a user feature a lot of folks have asked for a while. And the idea is if you play a game that has retro achievements like this one, then Pixelcade during the game is gonna do certain things. And so let me just give you a quick demo here. And just note that right now at the time of this recording, this only works on Bodicera and MUELEC front ends. Hopefully over time we can add more, but right now just supporting those two. Okay, so there's the first achievement. See a little video plays there on, on Pixelcade. After the video plays, you can see the text of the actual achievement. So that's here. And then if you've got a Pixelcade dot display, the text will display on that as well. And then it'll go back to the normal 
Pixelcade, uh, the normal mar the normal game marquee that was playing originally. Um, one other caveat is you do need to be online. So your your device, in this case, I'm on Bodicera, that's got to be internet connected for this to work. All right, so I've got another one. It's going to show again another random video and then show you the achievement for this one. By the way, you can go um, on the Retro Achievements website and it will actually show you all the various achievements uh, for each game. So it's pretty cool. Look that up. But let me get out of this game. I'll just show you one more game that I know has achievements. And there's a ton of games with achievements, by the way. Like we're only scratching the surface here with these two games. Okay, so this game I know has an achievement. First one is when you hit a thousand points. So let's try to get that. All right. So, same thing, see uh, achievement video there, and then the actual text of the actual achievement. So that is pretty much it. That is the update of version 5.0 of the Pixelcade LCD firmware. Hope you guys enjoy that. Well, a lot of work went into it. If you find some bugs, which you might, because it's new and it was a big, it was a lot of extra code, definitely let us know and we'll work on those. And as always, we appreciate it. And thanks for your time.